finals for the AFPL Havoc Sinkel at Stryker in February 14, 2015. We're watching the Red Zone finals. And that was a clean hit. No? No buzzer. Muffin stuffers on the left side of the field. On the right side, we have the broke ballers. Really nice day here. It's February 14, 2015. It's 80 degrees with a slight breeze going through here. And that's a red zone. Muffin stuffers are the first ones to put two points up on the buzzer. Okay, looks like he got that second red zone plus uh, the broke ballers did a conceit. So that'll be five to zero. Five to zero muffin stuffers. Really quick, if this is your first time watching Red Zone, you pretty much get two points for every buzzer hit. If you're clean when you hit the buzzer, you get two points. You can push the buzzer once every five seconds. At the end of that five seconds, any of your players that are in the dead box can come out and go right back into play. On the other side of the field, if you concede, you can concede with one or less players, you will give one point to the other team for that conceit to stop that ramp up on the, the buzzer. If not, they just keep hitting the buzzer over and over again every uh, five seconds, accumulating two points with each hit. At any point in time, if the, if the point ends with a point spread of ten or greater, the other team concedes the game. Muffin stuffers on the left, broke ballers on the right, lots of talking going on. Broke ballers, pretty much ABC, God, and uh, the Dorito Temple. Dorito Corner went to Dorito 1, going into Dorito 2. God Bunker went to Snake 1. On the opposite side of the field, you have Dorito 2, BC, Snake, and Snake Temple. Broke ballers are now in the to the snake three, just got hit in the head by the temple on the snake side. Broke ballers just took a red zone and got a conceit by the muffin stuffers. So that what makes it muffin stuffers five, broke ballers three. Like I was saying, that's part of the strategy of this whole thing. They did not want Obviously, Muffin Stuffers did not want broke ballers who were in position to sit there and rattle off points on the buzzer. They dropped down to one body or less, concede throwing the broke ballers a point. Anyway, in case I was cut off earlier, let's just we'd like to thank our bunker sponsors for the 2015 season here at the AFPL. Um, Vanguard Paintball, yourpbfriend.com, Afflicto. West Coast Meditation and Scrub Status, all have, who have been here with us uh, from the get-go, helping the AFPL grow. We're growing pretty fast here in 2015. In fact, we're having our first international tournament. It's down in Cancun, Mexico in just two weeks. So probably by the time you're watching this, uh, we'll be down in Cancun holding another event, more videos. You'll definitely want to check us out on uh, YouTube. Check out our YouTube channel for sure. Almost Famous PB. Subscribe to our channel. See what we're doing here locally in Southern California, up in Central California, and again, what we're doing down in um, Cancun, Mexico. We're holding some events, and I think we're going to be announcing some more dates for the 2015 season. John is just a mover and a shaker, I guess. 30 seconds, guys. All right, we're 30 seconds away from watching the start of this next point. Muffin stuffers on the left, broke ballers on the right. It's five to three with muffin stuffers five, broke ballers three. Over on the right, we've got uh, broke ballers stopping at the God home, Dorito Temple. Dorito Corner. 
Leffen Stuffer's trying to get in on the buzzer real quick. Did not quite make it, especially with uh, Broke Baller's player in the cake wedge there, just shooting straight down the area with the buzzer. Which is going to make it pretty tough for Muffin Stuffer's to get in and score a point until they get him out. Muffin Stuffer's are down, taking the snake down into snake three. Now they've definitely got the attention of the other team's uh, cake and both the temples. How he's still alive is just amazing. They're, they're shooting a ton of pain at him. Oh, Snake 3 just, uh... Well, this Muffin Stuffer's blowing the whistle on that. Conceding to Broke Ballers. So now it's Muffin Stuffer's 5, Broke Ballers 4. With 2 minutes and 26 seconds left in the game which is pretty much enough time to probably play four or five points at this. Uh, we'll see what happens. Plenty of time. It's still anybody's game. Really a kick-ass way to start off the 2015 season uh, coming up here to Santa Paula, California to hold an event. This is the first time I've ever been here at Striker Paintball and Airsoft. Um, it's a really great looking field. Nice grass fields. It's really cushy, soft grass with uh, a, a few uh, rec ball fields that I think that they play airsoft on also. This place used to be a, um, a golf course, is what I was told. So half of it is now a paintball field, and the other half of it is a golf course, and we're right in the heart of, like, a produce country here. They grow oranges and all types of produce. Muffin stuffers on the left, five. Broke ballers on the right with four. Muffin Stuffers taking both temples, the Cake Wedge and uh, Dorito 1 and home off the break. Five alive, made it in. I believe Broke Ballers dropped the body off of the break on their temple on the Dorito side. So they have a uh, home, Dorito 1, Cake Wedge, God Bunker. So it's four on five right now. Lots of talking. Muffin Stuffers D1 just moved to D2. Still both temples and the wedge. So there's a lot of paint going through. God just went straight into snake two. So he's definitely drawing the attention of both the temples at this point. And that wedge. The D1 player was pretty much able just to stand and walk straight into D2. Nobody's shooting at him. Uh, not a very good move, but he got blasted trying to go straight for the buzzer. He wore it. Yeah, I think they're smelling the buzzer. Red zone for broke ballers. Broke ballers. Six. Muffin Stuffers, five. All right. Broke Ballers conceding the point. Things tied up, six to six. That was a little bit exciting. <laughs> so Muffin Stuffers using their one and only timeout. No more timeouts left. It's six to six, all tied up. How much time? 32 seconds remaining. So 32 seconds remaining. All things tied up. No more timeouts left. So this one's probably going to be the final uh, point for the finals. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of running down the field at this one. It's all about getting the buzzer. What do you think so far? You guys like Red Zone? Yeah? <laughs> It's different, right? It's it's really exciting. All right, here we go. Ten seconds. 
Again, muffin stuffers on the left, broke ballers on the right, all things tied up, no timeout. Broke ballers, break out, they went straight to the wedge, Dorito side temple. Dorito corner, home, and God bunker. On the other side of the field, muffin stuffers went straight into the 50 Dorito, taking out the wedge, and I think they traded out. No, no buzzer. Who conceded that point? Was it? Muffin stuffers concede the point. Broke ballers will end up with seven. Muffin stuffers, six. Broke ballers, seven. That's it. No? We're going to play it? It's done, right? So, uh, Muffin Stuffers conceding the point, giving the Broke Ballers seven, one point over the Muffin Stuffers. With nine seconds left, we do not play the last point. So, with that being said, the Red Zone Finals winner for the opener, the season opener is the Broke Ballers, seven, Muffin Stuffers, six. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out to our event today. We really appreciate it. I hope you guys like Red Zone, like what you see. We hope to see you at the next event. Again, check us out on uh, Facebook. Check us out on YouTube. Do us a favor, watch our videos. They're going to be coming from Cancun in the next two weeks as we go down there to take the Red Zone to Mexico for the first time. Thank you so much for watching our videos. I'm Michael Wise. Bye. I am a passenger, and I ride, and I ride.